So first of all, I want to thank every single person that has liked, watched, shared, comment, subscribed. The traction I've gotten off of the first couple videos that I've made has been absolutely, I mean, humbling. It's been insane. So I've read your comments, I've heard your requests, and today is an exciting day because we get to do the SP Minnow review and tutorial. I need to sincerely apologize for how long it's taken me to make this next video. I apologize. You see, the thing is, is that I wanna pump these videos out every single day, right? Like, I think there's enough content there. I, so many ideas, like I am super excited to be able to pump these videos out. But time is my number one issue or the number one thing holding me back. Right, I work on a fishing boat, we're doing double charters every single day, I'm up at 2.30 in the morning, and then I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night, I'm smoked, I gotta pass out, I just, I, I can't pump them out. So that's been a, the, the number one issue is finding time with that, you know, to be able to do this, and we only stop when we have bad weather. So this offshore hurricane means I actually get to do this video, uh, which is awesome, but you know, obviously we're not on the boat fishing, so that kind of sucks. Second reason why it's taking me so long to make this next video is I'm actually in the process of moving. I just moved to my uncle's 30 acre farm where I moved into a, an old post and beam barn uh, which is kind of the exact opposite of the city life that I was living before, but it's absolutely beautiful. I think it's gonna give me the time and especially the space to be able to make higher quality YouTube videos and pump out even more content. The other reason why I really wanted to move here is because the second aspect of my content that I wanna pump out on YouTube is gonna be geared towards hunting, right? I do a lot of hunting in the off season of fishing. Uh, I'm a big bow hunter. Um, I do a lot of duck hunting, a lot of turkey hunting, so while the, the fish have migrated down south, um, not only do I plan on doing a lot of you know content for fishing during the off season, but I also plan on doing a ton of content for the hunters out there as well. So if you're not a hunter, uh, don't worry. I 100% plan on doing a lot um, when it comes to fishing. I think there's a lot of different ideas and a lot of stuff I can go over, a lot of, a lot of products that I can go over in the off season but I also plan on doing a ton of content geared towards hunting as well. And I think being on a 30 acre farm, uh, I think it's gonna be perfect. But because I've been in the process of moving, it's taken me a little while to get set up and get ready to rock and roll in these next videos. So that is the number two biggest reason why it's taken me so long to make this video. So with all that said, let's roll a little footage of that farm so I can show you exactly what it looks like. I can't regret So that's a little bit of the farm, uh, just a little bit of B-roll footage to show you guys kind of what it's like. Uh, I plan on showing you a lot more of the farm and uh, definitely plan on doing a lot of content revolving around this location, especially this location. Um, this is where I plan on doing a lot of the footage um, and a lot of the filming of some of the content. So I'm really, really excited about that. But first, before we get into the minnow, a little coffee. So. Today, by popular demand, by request, I am doing my next product or my next lure review on 
the SP Minnow, right? This is by far one of my favorite lures to throw and catch striped bass with. Um, I just think it is phenomenal. I call this lure the old reliable for a reason, right? I think that this, this lure, the way that it works, the action it creates, they just an opportunistic fish. Again, it, it cannot resist the opportunity of one of these things flowing by it. So um, it is by far one of my favorite lures to throw and catch striped bass on. But to be 100% transparent and 100% honest with you, I very, very, very rarely will throw this at the Cape Cod Canal. I know a lot of people throw them. I know a lot of people love them. I just think it's too small. Even with the new seven inch that came out, I very rarely throw it. If I am gonna throw it at the canal, I'm throwing the new seven inch. I know there's a little bit of speculation on people not liking the action on them. I haven't seen a problem with it. If you know you're gonna nitpick a little bit on, or, you know, you're gonna nitpick that much on on, you know, the the action that the seven inch versus the six inch throw. I I just don't see it. Right? I, I catch fish on both of them. So. Um, I don't know if that's biased or what that is, but I, I like both sizes. I actually prefer the bigger size because I don't throw the smaller size at the canal because I don't think I can get it out as far. That's just my personal preference. Can you throw them at the canal? Can you catch fish? Yes, 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 right? Great plug to throw. I just personally don't throw it enough at the Cape Cod Canal, right? It is not my go-to. I go to a Magic Swimmer. That's my favorite th plug to throw at the canal is the Magic Swimmer. It's bigger, it's heavier. It, it doesn't throw as far probably as the SP, but I just think the bigger size, the fact that there's that many mackerel, for whatever reason, I gravitate towards the, the Magic Swimmer pencil popper things like that i very rarely throw this should i throw it more at the canal absolutely i totally should i threw it the other day for the first time in a while caught a couple of schooly 28 inch size size bass on these um they definitely catch fish i call it old reliable for a reason right any fishing that i do outside of the cape cod canal beach fishing bay fishing uh, i don't care if i'm on a dock fishing whatever it is 99 percent of the time I'm starting with an SP minnow. I just think it is a great, you know, I, I would call it a locator bait, right? Or a locator plug. I like to use it to find out if there's fish in the area, even if it's schooly fish. I just think that this plug, it just mimics so much and has such a nice action that I, I really think that this plug is great anywhere. For any situation, you can throw this plug and you really don't have to do too much with it, right? I'm not gonna do a super, super long video on the SP Minnow. If you search YouTube, you will find all kinds of product reviews, reviews on the SPs, right? I don't think I need to go super in detail with these as much as I did with the Magic Swimmer. But with these right here, the action that they create naturally is, it's just an opportunistic, an opportunistic fish has to hit this opportunity. It has to, right? It, it, it's just one of the things where I think the action in it is, is unparalleled. So with that being said, right, this, they definitely come in a couple different sizes, right? They do a very, very small size, right? They do a slightly larger size, and then now they do the seven inch size as well, right? So. The seven inch is typically my favorite bait to throw. I just like the bigger, bigger baits because you know I want to catch bigger fish. But um, if I am, you know, somewhere where it requires light tackle, I will 100% bring out the smallest size, um, medium, in between. I, I throw them all, right? So it, it really doesn't matter to me. It's just what tackle am I using? How big is my rod? If I'm using a huge rod, I'm not throwing the small, the small SP, right? I'm, if I'm using a lighter, if I'm using my Lama glass, which is a much lighter rod, it's a lighter tackle, I'm gonna throw the, the, the smaller SP. Um, so with that being said, I'm gonna link all the different sizes. I'm gonna link where I like to buy them. I'm gonna link where you can buy them, the different sizes. Um, but if you're gonna throw at the canal or you're typically targeting bigger fish with bigger um, tackle, throw the larger bait. That's just my opinion. Um, I think the seven inch that they just came out with this year is fantastic. I can't speak higher enough about it. Now, as far as rigging these goes, same thing with the um, Magic Swimmer. I ditch the hooks right off the bat. So I take all the hooks off. 
um, and I typically will take the hardware off. I will upgrade just about everything. VMC is what I upgrade to. I believe on the smaller ones, I'm using two OTT hooks. The larger ones, I'm using the medium ones, I'm using three OTT hooks, and the larger ones, I'm going to use even four OTT hooks. So I always upgrade the hooks. Um, I'm constantly checking them. I upgrade the split rings, same split rings. I'll link all that stuff below. But one thing I 100% wanted to talk about before I kind of get into the action and how to fish these, um, one thing that I have started to do and I've really fallen in love with the way to rig this, right? it's a little bit of a tip that I am not going to take credit on. I'm gonna link the video below. Um, I will show you exactly, I'll link, I'll link the link to the video below of the review on the SP Minnow of the, the guy that showed how to do this and who I stole it from and who I use it from. I'll link it below. But what I'm doing now is I run my larger SP Minnows with single out hooks or single hooks, right? These are the Gamagatsu 510 single hooks. They have got an outward facing barb. I don't know if you can see that, but that is an outward facing barb. It is not on the inside. I rig it with just one split ring, right? Same size split ring um, coming off and then a second split ring that actually attaches to the hook. So these hooks, right, they're open hooks. You'd have to actually close them on the split ring, but it's two split rings that way there when it actually swims through the water, it's swimming through right underneath the belly just like this. Same thing off the back, it's swimming through just like this. So when it actually swims, it's gonna look just like that through the water. This rig, in my opinion, is phenomenal, right? If you watch my other videos, you know all that I'm not a big fan of treble hooks, so anytime I can get rid of them, I get rid of them, right? This right off the bat means I don't have six hooks, it means I only have two. Do you drop fish? Maybe, right? Will people argue that you drop fish? Of course, right? You're taking, you know, four hooks off of a rig when, you know what I mean? Now you're only going two from six hooks. So do you drop fish? Have I dropped fish? Maybe. Have I caught a lot of fish on it? Absolutely, right? This, this rig 100% catches fish. It is so much easier to be able to get the fish uh, unhooked and actually take the lure out of the mouth of the fish when I only have two hooks to worry about. I can get it out, release the fish that much faster, and then be fishing that much faster. So I really, really like the way that this is rigged. Um, you never foul hook and never foul hooks on itself. It never wraps up and foul hooks on itself. Um, it might happen one out of, I think he says in the video, one out of a thousand casts it might, it might come up, but it, that really never happens on either side. It never like comes up and tangles on itself. It swims so, so nicely. Doesn't affect the action in my opinion. Um, again, it's all just my opinion. I don't see it affecting any of the action. The biggest thing I'm doing is I'm getting rid of the trebles. It makes it easier to take the fish off um, and it makes it much easier to fish with in my opinion. The number one reason why I like throwing this rig the way that I the way that I run it is if the water is dirty, if there's a lot of seaweed, if there's a lot of debris, right? And I'm throwing magic swimmers and I'm throwing pencil fire, I'm throwing all kinds of stuff and the water is dirty, right? And it's coming up every single cast is coming up with seaweed on it, right? If I throw an SP minnow with you know, two trebles on it, same exact thing. Every single time, I gotta take it off, I gotta undo all the seaweed, I gotta throw it back, right? And it's just time and effort, and after you do it 50 times, it's just like, oh my gosh, this water's so dirty. When I throw it with two single hooks, it cuts through that seaweed so much easier. Am I saying that it cuts through all the seaweed? Absolutely not, right? But it definitely is gonna give me cleaner retrieves and cleaner lures when it comes up, only having the two, and the way that it swims them, Right? I'm not catching near as much seaweed. So on a dirty day, this lure, the way that I run it with these two single hooks is a dream come true, especially when all my other stuff has got, has got trebles on it. So the way that I run this, I absolutely love the fact that it's safer. I love the fact that um, it makes taking the fish off that much easier. And I love the fact that I can throw this in dirty water right? Um, it is my go-to. So that's just the way that I typically like to run this. I'm running it with the same size leader, you know, about a foot and a half, two foot leader, um, you know, with a quick clip directly onto a swivel. So there is a swivel off the nose here, right? Which is what I'll, uh, I'll show you real quick. We throw a swivel right off the nose there, double swivel, double swivel hooks. So um, again, I'm going to link the, the link to the video of the guy that showed me how to do this. 
and I absolutely love it. So if you've never tried it, try it. It's awesome. I'll also link to where you can get these uh, Gamagatsu hooks. These are the four aunt hooks, four slash zero hooks, um, and they're the single hooks. I just think it's phenomenal. Now, if you like the trebles, they're gonna come with the trebles. You swap them out for the VMC trebles. I, I really think you can't go wrong with these um, as well. You're gonna catch fish on both of them. The last thing I'll talk about before we kind of jump into how to fish them and the techniques, again, is color. My go-to color for a lot of baits, just my opinion, you throw whatever you want, right? My go-to color is bone. I absolutely love the bone, right? Um, at night, during the day, whatever it is, I throw the bone, right? That is just a personal opinion, right? That does not mean you need to go out and buy every single bone color out there because I'm throwing bone, right? Uh, I would like to get a couple more at some point. So uh, just keep that in mind. I think the number one colors, right? I don't care what color it is, right? I'm not huge on colors and having to fish this one. Anything shiny, anything silver, anything shiny, this thing is gonna create the action through the water. Anything that is shiny, it creates the shimmer as it goes through, I just think is, is a go-to. So any of the, the shads or, you know, any of the macro colors, anything that's got that silver shimmer to it, the blue shimmer, the green shimmer, any of that shimmer, right, is gonna be a fantastic color to throw. Right, I just personally really, really like the bone colors. Um, it's just my personal preference. Um, I have so much confidence in the bone color, it is very hard for me not to throw the bone. So I throw the bone all the time. If I'm not throwing the bone or based on the bait that I see in the water, I'll typically go over to a nice silver color, a nice shimmery color. And then at nighttime, a lot of the times you're gonna catch me throwing the, uh, the blurple, right? So the black and purple, I absolutely love this color. Um, they slam this color, full moon, new moon, right? Both, I've caught on both moons. This bait at night, again, just the old reliable color and bait selection right here is I will throw this, I'll throw the bone, and I swear to God, I'll be fishing with a couple buddies. They'll be fishing every single lure in their bag. I will consistently just throw the seven inch SP minnow and I will stay true to it. They won't catch a single thing. Nothing's going on, nothing's going on. and. Boom, out of nowhere. My thing gets nailed, and I look over, and I look over, they're both throwing SP minnows. And I ask them what color, they're both throwing bone SP minnows, right? So I'm not saying that that's the lure that will always catch you fish. I'm just saying it's the lure that I stick with when fishing's hard. I stick with the SP minnow and bone. It's just my go-to. Um, if not, if I can throw, if I've caught a couple on that, I'll, I'll typically like to catch them on the blurple. Um, if it is based on the bait that I see in the water, I'll throw the, sh the, the silver shimmer. So those are just kind of my, uh, my color selections. You don't have to use um, what I do. Use what you are confident in. So once you catch a fish on one, keep throwing it. Catch more fish on them. Gain that confidence in that color. And I guarantee you're going to reach for that color every single time, right? That's because you have the confidence. Mine is bone right someone else's could just be blurple right so just build the confidence in the color that you like and that goes for all lures build the confidence in the color that you like and then consistently throw it after you catch a couple and you have that confidence then you can branch out you know what I mean branch out start throwing some other colors and, and start getting, gaining confidence in other colors until all of a sudden you've got a wide color palette of different color baits sizes um, and you kind of figure out what works best for you the best way to figure it out is to try it and do it by example so get out there try fishing them um, and see what colors you like but that's the rig that i like the colors that i like the sizes that i like and the hardware that i like so now just to show you a little bit of how i like to fish them and the technique that i like to fish them with so to talk a little bit on how to fish the sp minnow and again, this is just my preference, it's my style, it's how I like to do it and how I've seen success with it. So I'm not saying that you have to do it the way that I do it, right? I'm sure you guys will comment the ways that you you like to fish them. I'd love to hear those comments on how you like to fish them um, because then I actually get to go out and try it, which is awesome. So please comment, let me know exactly how you like to fish it, but this is how I fish the SP Minnow and how I see success catching with the SP Minnow, right? So the first thing that I do or um, well, the first thing that I like to explain with the SP is this lure does the work for you. Very, very similar to the way that the uh, Magic Swimmer does the work for you. The SP Minnow and the Magic Swimmer, in my opinion, 
they both, you could literally cast it out and retrieve it however you want and they're gonna catch fish, right? Whoever says you have to do it this way or that way, they catch fish, right? The action is built into them. You don't have to really do anything when it comes to the Magic Swimmer and when it comes to the SP Minnow, you really have to do almost nothing, right? Now there's a couple little things that I like to do to increase my opportunity, again, to an opportunistic fish. So the first thing is that when you cast this out and you retrieve it, the way that it swims and the way that it flutters through the water, it has that action built into it. So if you just cast it out and you retrieve it in slow, it's gonna catch you fish, right? So if nothing else, if you're new to this bait, just cast it out and retrieve it. Watch the way that it creates the action, watch the way that it swims, right? And just cast and retrieve and cast and retrieve and cast and retrieve, right? One thing that I definitely do that is different than the Magic Swimmer is with the Magic Swimmer, if you remember, I always said fish it low with the tip low under your armpit, right? And you're gonna fish it here. Complete opposite with the SP, right? With the SP, I cast it and I'm either here with a smaller rod or I'm in between my legs with a longer rod, right? And it, that, that rod tip is gonna be straight up, right? Now, I didn't exactly go over floating versus sinking because 90% of the times I fish floating, right? So you can fish the sinking, I do fish the sinking, but 95% of the times I fish floating, right? You fish however you want. They also have the, uh, the bullet, right? Which is also another one, but 95% of the times I fish floating. It's just my confidence, it's where I like to throw it. Um, I like having it up on the higher water column because the fish look up, right? So that's just where I like to have it. You can definitely see success with the sinking, right? Have it in a lower water column and you can fish it there. Again, I would still say fish the rod tip up, but if it's floating or if it's sinking, I'm gonna fish with the rod tip up, right? So I cast it out, I throw it between my legs and I just start a slow retrieve. And that's it. And I'm gonna slow retrieve this thing back in, right? If I'm brand new to the lure, I'm going to slow retrieve it back in, right? And then I'm gonna take it, cast it back out, right? If the hook sets up, right, I'm gonna rip it right straight up, right back, and I'm gonna reel him in, right? You will 100% feel a little bit of a different hook set with these. They're, they're really gonna smash these things because they can inhale the whole bait, right? So try it first cast retrieve cast retrieve cast retrieve now what i typically the way that i fish this again 95 percent of the times i cast it out i throw it between my legs i start a very slow retrieve 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 now every once in a while right i give it a pump one quick pump i would say every five seconds pump 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 right and what i'm doing is i'm just I'm creating a little bit of a different sequence, right? When you cast and you retrieve it, it's just gonna flutter all the way back in. Now, when it pumps, and when you give it that pump, it's gonna flutter and then it's gonna swim out, right? And then it's gonna continue the flutter. Again, very similar to like in my, in my Magic Swimmer video where it smacks the top of the water and swims out of it. That's kind of what uh, I'm looking for. I'm just kind of trying to create that, hey, eat me. Right, like that, that's really what I'm thinking about. Like to be 100% transparent, it's just eat bait, right? Like that's kind of what I'm saying. So I'm retrieving it back in slow, right? And I give it a quick pump and it's just gonna give it a little different action and it's gonna cause a strike. A lot of the times I'm gonna get it right off that pump. That's when he's gonna nail it. So I'm slow retrieving it in, letting it do its thing then pump it and then all of a sudden, boom, it's gonna hit it right there. So start with a slow retrieve, try it a couple times and then start pumping it every five seconds. Just give it one quick pump one quick pump, right? As it starts to come closer to shore, right? My idea is I want it swimming on top. As it starts to come closer to shore, I'll start to lower the tip down and I'll fish it, you know, almost very similar to the Magic Swimmer. But for 90% of the, the retrieve in, I'm straight up and down. I'm just a very, very slow retrieve, letting the lure work, giving it a pump every five seconds, giving it a pump every five seconds. And then when it gets about 10 feet from shore, I'm gonna lower my rod tip and I'm gonna bring it in, maybe give it another pump, another pump, and you'll get hits right at the, right at the shoreline as well. But that's really it. There's no wrong way to fish this. You could cast it out and pump, 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 pump all the way back in. I think that's a little fast. I don't like to do things fast. I'm a really slow kind of fisherman. I like fishing the plugs very, very slow. That's how I like to fish it. But there's realistically no wrong way to fish 
the SP minnow, right? With that said, right, I just, I really think that if you give it a nice slow retrieve, let that, that, re, let that, that bait work itself, you're gonna see more hookups, you're gonna see more strikes, right? If there's current, right, I'm gonna again let the current do the work, right? So if the current is, if I'm fighting the, the bait while the current's going down and the bait's coming back in, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fish it. Ten, almost painfully slow because that current is allowing that to do the work. So if I if I reel at the same speed as if the current was coming down, the bait's coming down with it, right? It just it, it's gonna fight it too much. It's gonna go way way too much. So if I'm fighting current, the lure is coming in against the current. I'm going to fish it even painfully slower, right? And you just see hookups, right? It, it, this thing is just, it, there's probably a reason why there's so many YouTube videos. There's probably a reason why there's so many comments. There's probably a reason why the, there's so many on the shelves. And there's definitely a reason why there's so many that fly off the shelves. This bait catches bass. It just mimics so many different bait fish, the action on it. I mean, there's really not too much more I can tell you on how to fish this other than fish it slow. And when the hook set comes, bang, give it a good hook set, keep that tension. Keep that tension, reel it right in, and just fish it nice and slow, right? And reel him in nice and slow. Take your time with it, allow it to work its way in, and that's it. You're gonna see as much success with this as I do um, because I just allow the lure to do, do the work. So that is pretty much it. That's pretty much everything I can tell you. Size, color, style. I like floating, um, how I rig them, how I don't rig them. Um, you know, and how I like to fish them. So that's pretty much everything I possibly could tell you when it comes to the SP Minnow. Guys, if you like this video, please keep the comments coming. I absolutely love them. I try to, t try to respond to every single comment I possibly can. Um, I also love when you guys like the videos. I absolutely love when you share them. And when you guys hit that subscribe, I'm watching every single night. I see every single one of you guys that subscribes. I literally couldn't be any more humbled. I am so pumped to have uh, a little bit of a following and see that you guys are, are getting something out of this. Um, and that's really the main goal is to try to help you guys catch fish because I'm so addicted to it for a reason. So like, comment, share, and if you really love them, subscribe. So I'm Jasper Kutu, and again, we're doing, uh, we're doing the SP Minnow Review. What are you doing? So you find your way back home.